In a shocking incident, Punjabi artist and Congress leader Shubdeep Singh Sidhu, popularly known as Sidhu Musewala, was shot dead in Mansa on 29th May. Autopsy reports revealed that there were at least 24 bullet wounds on his body. The entire nation had been mourning his death ever since. Musewala's death, however, has raised numerous questions about the gun culture that has been growing in Punjab since a long time, about the political outreach to gangsters abroad. In fact, the artist's death was a product of a problem that had been booming in the northern state since recent years. And it's not that we weren't warned about something as severe as this was fated to happen in Punjab. Remember when Prime Minister Narendra Modi was on his visit to Punjab in January? and he had to remain stranded on a flyover because of security concerns. Remember what the Prime Minister had said then, although the tweet was later deleted. Prime Minister Modi, after being stuck on the Punjab flyover for almost 20 minutes and returning back without attending any event, had shared that he was relieved to have returned back to Delhi alive. Prime Minister of a country like India was forced to say something like this because of security concerns in his own country. The incident speaks volumes about the ravaged security system in the state of Punjab. Many theories have been moving around social media after Sidhu Musewala's death about how something as severe as this has happened in Punjab. But clearly, his death was nothing more than a failure of political system and state administration. It is heartbreaking to see Musewala's father removing his turban, a gesture that shows how miserable he is right now after losing his son. The entire nation is standing in solidarity with him and Musewala's family. But are we learning anything from his death? Are we able to find out the real culprits of Sidhu Musewala's murder? Because the issue is not restricted to the gangsters who took responsibility for his death. There clearly lies an even bigger concern that we need to deal with. Will we be able to do that? Only time will tell. For now, it is time to contemplate how far these links go. Because everyone, despite of any kind of differences, deserves to live in a secured environment. And we intend the same for Punjab because Punjab is an inseparable part of the country and no amount of violence can build the wall of divide between the state and the nation. For more such insights, visit www.newsbharti.com and do like, share and subscribe us on YouTube.